Hi there! In the previous video, I showed how to add score to your game, and in this video, I'll show you how to set up the logic for best score. So, this video is gonna be probably a shorter one than usual, but I hope it's gonna be as helpful as all the other ones. So, we'll start at our player flow graph. I'll go to full screen, and there are two places here that I can add the logic for the best score check is either in our add score or the game over. The place where you would add logic will depend if you want to do anything when the player crosses the best score. So if you want to do some kind of visual effect during the gameplay when the player crosses the best score, you would want to check the logic inside the add score so that as soon as you cross the best score, you can trigger the event for best score. But in my case, I only want to display the best score in the game over screen. So I'll add the logic inside the game over. So I'll expand the group. And inside here, we're going to add our logic. So first, we need a variable where we can store our best score. And there's lots of different types of variables here. I'll go through all the variables in the next video. But the one that we're looking for to use is the saved variable. And in the saved variables, there are two tabs. So we have the initial and saved. And inside the initial, that's where we want to create our variable. So here we we'll add best score. That's the variable we're going to use. And the type will be integer. Start value at zero. And now we can add this best score to our graph. Also, we can drag the score as well. So the idea here is for us to compare our current score with the best score. And if our current score is greater than the best score, we want to change our best score to our current score. So let's get the greater than node and it can be found in logic greater. So we'll connect A for score and for B we'll connect the best score. And this node will return a Boolean. So either true or false. True if our current score is greater than best score and false if that's not the case. So we can use that boolean to trigger a branch node. And now in the flow where I want to add this logic is after I set the time scale to zero. So right here, I'll add that logic. If it's false, meaning that our current score is not the best score, we'll just continue with the logic. But if it's true, what we want to do is save our current score as the variable. So we we'll go to set best score and connect the current score to our best score variable. This will update our variable. And after we update the variable, we want to continue with our game over logic. So this is a complete setup for comparing best score to our current score and changing it if our current score is higher. And now let's go and set up a graph for displaying our best score. So I want to display the best score in my game over UI. So I have a game over UI in Canvas and there's a best score right here. So if I go to inspector, let's add a component, flow machine, and we'll use the embedded added graph. The graph is gonna be similar to what we use for score. So let's go to score and copy these three nodes. I'm gonna go back here, paste them in. For string, we're gonna use best score instead of score. And I'm actually gonna use a start event. On start event, I'll connect it to set text. For the second argument of concat, we're gonna use get variable and we're going to get our saved variable best score. So that's it. That's the setup for displaying the score. Now I can click play and you can see that on game over the logic just ran. We got our best score set to six. It was previously set to zero. Let's click again. And if we have a lower score than six, the best score does not get updated. But if we get a higher score than six, it should be updated. And let's test that. There you go. Our score is now 13. So this is the way you can set up best score in your game. If you have any questions about this video or about Vault, write in the comments below and I'll try answering them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.